The Simple Show explains the blue economy. This is our planet. Of course, we want to preserve it for future generations, and therefore we choose healthy and natural products, organic food, solar energy, and biodegradable soaps. But all these goodies cost more. Whatever is bad for your health and damages the environment is cheap. Whatever is good for your health and saves the environment is expensive. This green economy will be for the happy few. Most of us cannot afford it. Worse, some stuff we thought is great for us and good for nature actually is not good at all. Biosoaps use palm oil from plantations that destroyed the rainforest. Solar energy depends for decades on subsidies, which must be paid with tax money. Bioplastics compete with food. Organic food is shipped around the world, damaging the climate. So it is not only expensive, sometimes it is not smart either. So we have to be more creative to do it better. We must open our eyes to see what we've got. For example, here is our morning coffee. We really only use 0.2% of it. What do we do with the rest? Throw it away? We use it to grow mushrooms, then feed the leftovers to animals. Animals make manure, and bacteria make biogas from that. We thought it was only waste, and now, Everyone who knows this can generate food, energy, and jobs. We like that. And there are so many opportunities. Once we see them, it is clear that we can convert poverty into development, scarcity into abundance. If we can make the cake bigger, it is easier to share with everyone. However, many people have good ideas. What we need are people who make it happen. We need these entrepreneurs. Actually, we need a whole generation of entrepreneurs. They do not care how the apple falls down from the tree. Newton figured that out hundreds of years ago. They want to know how the apple got up in the tree in the first place, defying the law of gravity. These innovators think like David, who beat Goliath. Without experience and little money, they change the rules of the game and generate more money for themselves and their community. That makes everybody happy. This is our goal, making people healthy and happy with what we did not know we have. And after all, the sky is blue, the ocean is blue, and our Earth, as seen from the universe, is also blue. That's why we call this the blue economy. It has only just begun. For more information, visit Ziri.org. The Simple Show explains how to exit nuclear energy once and for all. This is nuclear energy. Of course, emitting no CO2 sounds great, but it's risky. If a disaster happens, you have to write off the investment and the population is at risk. No one expected an earthquake and a tsunami, but we have learned that even the impossible happens. And if that happens, who pays? You. Solar and wind cannot supply all the energy we need. And without subsidies, it would not work today. Who pays these subsidies? You. The blue economy proposes that we work with what we have, turn problems into opportunities, be creative, and inspire entrepreneurs to make it happen. Whatever we propose must be good for your health and for the environment, and it has to be cheaper. For example, here's a water treatment plant. It costs money. And here is household waste. Sending it to the dump costs money and generates methane that damages our climate. If we dump leftover food into the wastewater, we generate energy, biogas, drinking water, fertilizer, and make money. Here is a pylon. It transports electricity, which costs money. A wind generator produces electricity, 
but you need to put it on towers, which are expensive and ugly. We simply put a vertical wind turbine inside the pylon. Now the pylon is stronger, generates electricity without new visual pollution, and we make money. Here is a solar panel. It works on both sides. So if optics concentrate and send the sunshine to the bottom too, we make four times more electricity with three times less material. The chamber, made from recycled plastic, gets hot. Now, solar also makes heating and hot water all at once and cheap. We place these panels on landfills. So land of no use now gives us energy and makes money. These are not only three good ideas, each one has been implemented. And these sources of electricity are cheap. So cheap that it is embarrassing that we kept on wasting taxpayers' money on subsidizing coal, oil, and nuclear for decades. If your country were only to use a small part of its infrastructure, then there will be more than enough renewables to replace all nuclear power. And everything can be made locally, generating jobs. Actually, it's possible to save so much money that there would be enough cash to pay for the closure of nuclear. How? If we sell this renewable and cheap electricity at the same price as before, and we eliminate all subsidies, then we make a lot of money without having to pay more. This cash will build consensus that nuclear has to go, and that makes everyone happy. Think of it. Siri.org.